What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the leaderboards and we look at the close race between number one and number two top players in the world, Massacrator versus Dub. It's a close race and Dub could get the number one spot soon and we will see why. But first of all, Massacrator did reach 15 million fame not that long ago and when he posted on Facebook, he said, here we go, I did 15 million. I don't think I'm gonna go for another million, but he's about super close to reach 16 million fame. But look at that, there's only 500,000 fame between Dub and Massacrator, that's crazy. But there's a little bit of controversy here, guys, and that's what we're going to talk about today. How does Dub manage to get that much fame in catching up with Massacrator, which is also grinding hard? I did talk about it on stream today, inspect the profile and see uh, what's so special about Dub's profile? You have to scroll all the way down and click on the high roller ribbon. This is the casino ribbon. Spend a hundred thousand on the casino slot machines. He's got three thousand and two hundred and five ribbons. Okay, three two o oh, five. Uh, that's not crazy. The amount of fame that you get from these ribbons. It's only two hundred fame. All right but it's the accumulation of everything that goes with it. When you get casino ribbons, you also get millionaire ribbons at the same time, which is another 75, but then you get the medals. For every 10 high roller ribbons, you get another almost 2000 fame for each medals. And then you get the millionaire medals also, which is another 420. If you do the maths, guys, and you multiply, I mean, that's a lot of fame. That's way over a million fame just for sitting at the casino and spinning the wheel, right? Anyways, this guy was reported four months ago, all right? In end of August, early September, he was reported to MFG. He's, he went from like 600 to 800 ribbons in 48 hours. So 200 ribbons in two days. So what's the deal with that? Uh, probably some guys can use auto clickers. There are apps that you can use or if you have an emulator, you can uh, use macros on your mouse. So you set your mouse to repeatedly clicking on a button all day. So the thing is, you can farm ribbons while you're sleeping, while you're in the shower, uh, doing your laundry, going to school. You can leave the computer open and it will spin the wheel for you all day, all night, right? So it was discussed already and some guys say, yo, what's the deal with casino? It's only 200. You get much more fame by actually playing. But that's right. But these guys also play. Dub plays. He plays PvP. He farms ribbons uh, in dungeons like crazy. He plays many hours a day. The problem is when you're not playing. Because the other guys, when they're done playing, they go to bed. They go to sleep. Their computer or phone doesn't keep gaining fame while they're gone, right? So that's the unfair advantage. And just to show you how it works, I could just use my mouse on the emulator. Click on slot machine. And then uh, use the slot machine and then use my macro and it's just gonna spin the wheel for me while I'm gone so I could just leave like that I'm gonna go to bed so that thing is just spinning the wheel all day all night for me while I'm not playing all right I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna exit because I'm not a freaking cheater so people had solutions you can remove the amount of fame that you get for the casino ribbons but I think it's not the solution fixing the whole game just because one guy is cheating, I don't think is the right thing to do. And I did check the leaderboards today on stream. Massacrator, which is number one right now, if you check the ribbons, he's got exactly zero casino ribbons because he doesn't waste time going to the casino. I checked number three, Millord. Check the casino ribbon, he's got like 20, all right? 20 high rollers. And some of the top guys, number four and number five, is Nims and Whiteflower. So Nims got 58, it's not even close to 3,000. And then White Flower at number five, look at that, it's got 47. So this is this is one guy doing it. For the guys that say, what's the problem? You don't gain much fame. And if someone wants to actually go and spend his day at the casino, he deserves to get some fame for it. But that's the thing though, is the problem is not someone doing it, is someone doing it while he's not playing and that's another thing and how do you detect that as a company there's a problem but something's obviously shady who the hell gets 3000 casino ribbons and you can count it's about 10 ribbons per hour okay it's about one ribbon per hour on the normal machines and it's 10 times faster in the vip area so 
10 ribbons per hour that's a lot of freaking hours guys it's just impossible so dub is live right now we're gonna go and see if we can catch him in the casino because uh, most of the time if he's online uh it could be in the casino he gained about 100 ribbons in the last 24 hours he was at 3100 yesterday he's at 3200 to, uh today and probably by the time you watch this video check the leaderboard is probably gonna be even higher than that so i got lucky guys i got dub in the casino with me one of the best players in the world so you guys got live action look at him go he's so freaking fast so uh yeah lots of practice i'm sure and lots of hard work to deserve number two spot in the global leaderboard but seriously let me know in the comments what's your opinion on that what do you think they can do about it is it okay is it not okay uh, you think it's cheating I mean, it's not an exploit because it's not a bug. You do get fame for casino ribbons. It's not a lot of fame. You get more fame by actually playing. And like I said, the problem is not that. If someone wants to do it, I mean, he can spend his day in the casino and get fame. The problem is doing both. Like, you play, and then when you're not playing, you still get fame while sleeping or uh, whatever you do, doing your chores, going to school. So anyways, uh, I think it's sad if this guy gets number one because the top guys they deserve their spot i mean they work really hard for it and having this guy in the top five probably would have another guy instead you know and some guys deserve it so that's pretty much what i have to say about it today i'm not making decisions i'm just gonna let it go and see what happens it's been reported and it's been reported four months ago nothing's been done and he went from six to eight hundred and then from eight hundred to three thousand and how far is it gonna go so that's it for today's video i will let you guys with some live action and hope you guys enjoy the gameplay now if you like this video hit the like subscribe to the channel for more shadow gun legends news gameplay gameplay and guides i will be back soon until then watch my other videos take care